Hi YouTube, I got second at the uh, Giant Card Tournament playing Tiny Sword Soul. So uh, let's get into the deck. So for monsters, I played three Moe, uh, two Taya, uh, three Longyun, and three Ecclesia. So this is more or less standard for the Sword Soul engine. Um, some people cut this down to one, but I feel like two is necessary because like you could sometimes have to pitch this off of um, long gun turn one or you banish one with desires it's really nice to have the second um yeah and, and if you don't have like a way to make a synchro eight on the first turn you just lose so you just want as many ways to play the game as possible uh so that's it for the sword soul monsters and then for the better half of the deck in my opinion uh the tenies so i played one shatana uh, three Adhara, uh, three Vishuda, and three Shitana, uh, three Ashina. Um, I decided to max out on all of these except for the Shitana because these are just the best cards in the deck. Uh, going second, especially. Uh, Vishuda is just insane. Um, some people have cut down to um, two Adharas, but I still think it should be played at three just because it. It's still a free special summon, and it makes your vessels live. Uh, so, yeah, those are it for the tenies. And then why do you think it's the better half of the deck? Uh, they just help you push through um, so much, like, if, when you go second. Uh, like, the Sword Soul engines, like, the Sword Soul cars, they're, they themselves are, like, pretty fragile. Um, like, this could just be stopped by, like almost anything in the game um, like usually your game plan going second yeah. is just like bait out all of your opponent's cards with tenies and then try to play a sword soul card afterwards yeah so that's it for the tenies and for the hand traps slash going second cards uh so i played three ash uh insane against despia it's just it could be a turn ender against that deck and Against everything else, it's still very good, so it's an obvious three of. And then I played three Nibiru. Um, I didn't play this in the main deck for the main event, um, but it turns out that um, there's actually more Sword Soul in the event than Despia, so this card is just insane, and a lot of people just don't play around it. Players aren't respecting it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, people just don't um, play around it because they don't expect it to be in the main decks because of Despia. But against, like, anything that's not Despia, it, it's just a blowout against. And um, even, like, if Despia just, like, tries to kill you and extend by playing into Nib, like, Nib just, like, totally shuts them down. So th this card is very good. Uh, and then I played uh, two Effect Failures. Uh, these are just like generally decent against everything and it could be like the most insane against um tenyi sword soul uh because against that deck you really just want to cut off their advantage by stopping moe so they don't get their draws and search and yeah if that happens you're probably winning the game um and then we play three infirm uh, it's the best one out of these to see as the six card and it's usually better than Valor. So yeah, uh, these, I played 11 hand traps. Would you change that ratio moving forward? Uh, no, I- you feel good about it? I think this is a pretty good ratio. Like, I think I would just leave it as is, I might play the third Valor and bump it up to 12, but so far this has been working pretty well. And if you didn't play Nib in the main event, what did you play in its place? Uh, I played DD Crows because um, I was expecting to play against a lot of Despias, and I didn't play um, Valors. Uh, but it turns out I just played against one Despia in the main event, so it did. It came up versus him, but against like every other deck I played against, it, it was just terrible. Yeah. So yeah, so those are the hand traps, and then for the spells, we have three Emergence. Uh, self-explanatory it's rota for the deck and it's the only true one card starter in the deck so we play three of these uh we play uh two circle and two vessel for the tenyi spells um like vessel is well circle is probably the better one going second and vessel is probably the better one going first uh circle is insane against despia going second 
uh, because, well, like if they try to banish your monster with Mirror Jade, uh, you just chain and then they have to banish their own card and that's a pretty strong interaction. And, it's just huge, yeah. Yeah, it's huge. Like usually if that happens, you, you, it's like really hard for you to lose the game from there. Um, and then for the other spell cards, I played two Desires and one Called By. Uh, Desires is just really free in this deck because you don't really care about what you banish. And this is just a good card, this format. Uh, especially against Despia. But um, people are starting to play more hand traps now. And uh, this could just be useful against those. Except for Nibiru, which this deck is terrible against. But it works against everything else. And then uh, the one trap card in the deck. Blackout. Uh, you usually search this every time you go first. It's just insane against everything. Probably the reason why the deck is good. Uh, so yeah, th that's it for the main deck. How many cards in the main deck was it? Uh, in the main deck, there are 43 cards. 43. And then for the extra deck. So I played uh, two chi shells. Uh, this is pretty standard. It's usually what you go for on the first turn. Just get your play started and builds advantage, and it's an in, uh, interruption. Just very solid. Uh, two Baxia, one Yazi. Uh, they're good for going second, and this is good for playing around Collector. Uh, one Chaofeng uh, helps your deck be less bad against Nibiru. <laughs> yeah, and. Um, uh, for the tens, we played um, the standard, like one Chengying, one um, Sinister Sovereign, and one Baron. Uh, we usually just go for this on the first turn, uh, just because it's so much advantage. And like Baron going first is just pretty weak. But uh, yeah, so you just have to play these three. And then one Berserker. Uh, it's usually a decent card going second because it helps you. OTK, and then against the mirror match, it's actually a pretty good interruption. And then for the link monsters, play three monk, uh, makes all your tiny effects live, and then one shaman. Uh, this card is pretty good. Um, it helps you do something under barrier, and it just helps you extend through interruption going second, or play through weird hands going first. And then for the last card, I played one Lina. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is... Um, Something I played to uh, help make Nib playable in the deck because um, usually you can't summon your Tenyes if you have Nib, but um, the idea was that you would just summon a Sword Soul monster or something. If it got negated, you would make Lina crash into the Nib token or another monster if they have one. Um, it dies and then you search Ecclesia and then afterwards you have a clear board so you could summon the Tenyes and the Ecclesia. Oh, that's a really cool interaction. Yeah, it's actually... I've actually... Well, in the giant card event, I haven't summoned this yet because I haven't really resolved Nib when I went second. But, um... It's... I, I would definitely still play it just for that interaction. It helps... Uh, it helps you push through stuff, although you can't OTK if you use it, but... It um, enough, I'm sure, and it can get you back into your engine. Oh, that's yeah. Valuable. Yeah, that's really powerful. Also, um, in the mirror match, you could summon back your opponent's Chi Shell and try to <laughs> apply pressure. And that's, in theory, that's pretty powerful. And then we have some tokens. Did Chao Feng ever come up for you? I know there's uh, a lot of Drytron in the main event, at least. I didn't actually summon this um, that much in the main event because I didn't play against any Drytrons. Mm -hmm. But, um,. It's still useful for um, playing around Nib, and in the mirror match, it's actually pretty strong, just because a lot of your synchros are light, so... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so it's actually kind of hard to deal with without a going second card. So that's it for the extra deck, and for the side deck, I played uh, three droplets. Uh, it's very good against a lot of decks, and it helps you out Token Collector, which is a huge problem for this deck. Uh, so, and then I played three Crows, which were in the main deck. Um, these are mainly for Despia, uh, just to out-branded in red. And then 
I played three Lightning Storm and one Reboot. Uh, yeah, this is for the pesky back row decks. And I also side this against Despia because um, they side a lot of hate cards for you. And it's also just very good for uh, making them activate their Banishment or um, uh, Branded in Red preemptively. So they can't uh, summon Chimera and build a lot of advantage that way. And then for the other going first cards, or for the going first cards, um, I play three barriers. Uh, the best card this format, going first. You have to play it at three. It stops the two best decks. Uh, it's an absolute turn skip. And then I play two anti spells. Uh, for the decks that barrier are not good against, this is good. these are good against. And um, it also can be a counter side for um, your opponent if they side in lightning storms or dark rulers. Did you ever miss having a third anti spell? Um, not really. Uh, I played three, but I had to um, trim down the side deck uh, to make room for the other cards. Nice. Well, congratulations. All right. Thank you. This is a really cool uh, giant diviner. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, huge. A little bit too big to play in a deck. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Did you have any shout outs or anything? Uh, yeah, I'd like to shout out my team, um, Team Armageddon. And um, I'd like to shout out my teammate Clemen for playtesting with me before the event and helping me build the deck. Um, yeah, overall, it was a pretty good event. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Right, thank you.